G'day, welcome to Patreon with X Resart. I'm Chrissy. Hello, Carol. G'day, mate. How are you? All right, new project. Now, um, I've, I mean, I haven't, I, I keep on referring to this particular reference, the old man and the sea, but that's, um, that's like a, I think that's an old, um, that's an old book, I think, um, and there was a movie done with Spencer Tracy many, many moons ago. G'day, Kathy. Hello. Um, I found Giacondas open stock. They were uh, the ones I bought from the UK, only one pound each. That's cheap. Cheap, cheap, cheap. That is cheap, Carol. Oh, my gosh. Oh, that's awesome. Did you really? Oh, my goodness. Whereabouts in the UK? Was it um, Colt Pens? A pound each. G'day, Cherry. Hello. All right. So, new project. Um, is this Zeus? No, it's not. But um, uh, these, uh, these, uh, this image is made up um, from two references uh, from Pixabay. So, um, and free delivery, Carol. Wow, wow, wow. No, this is not Zeus, um, but he, this particular character I see gets used quite a bit. And, um, you know, and why wouldn't it? I mean, look how much character this fellow has. So eBay. OK, gotcha. Wow. Um, that's cool. Oh, maybe you can put it. Maybe you can put that in the link in uh, Patreon in the Patreon Facebook. Carol, see if you can do that. That would be great. Maybe we can all get because uh, I love geocondas. Geocondas are, you know, they're on par with Brunzales. They're soft, you know. So, but anyway, here we go. Um, just letting you know. Look, I've got uh, the pans here by my side, or just above here. Um, but I just wanted to make sure that I had. All this in view. Now what I've done, this is a um, um, pastel map, uh, 30 by 40 centimeters. Uh, the uh, what I've done is I've used masking film because what I wanted, what what we're going to do is we're going to start with the um, uh, the sky, uh, in particular the horizon and. And what I've done here, I've done, I've actually cut, um, oh, the light, oh, I think I've missed a spot here, bugger, make sure that I, I get that before I cut that out, but, um, but, but after the sky, we're going to go for the moon, all right, and probably then do the lighthouse, the sea, and we'll do um, this lovely, gorgeous man last. And um, so, you know, um, if you're going to try this, I was just wondering what size. Cherry, are you going to do a smaller size if you're going to have a go at this? Um, I haven't even done the line art for this one yet, um, as was out yesterday. We'll catch up during the week. Okay, cool. All right. Um, all right. So uh, I've gone ahead and I've um, masked the area. And uh, as I said, I've cut around we're going to do the um, uh, the sky now what I thought to uh, speed things up just a little bit um, is to use a soft uh, soft sponge now this is one that I've actually washed and um, it's a clean one but look this is what happens when you clean um, your sponges uh, yeah and then what we're going to do is um, finish and then um, use the brushes to um, you know to smooth things out um, put in clouds and things like that okay you're doing 25 by 35 centimeters okay well if this is 40 centimeters hang on here we go uh, that's 15 oh, that's 30 there 15 so there we go. Uh, okay, that's 25 by 35. Okay, all right. Well, that's a good size. Actually, this will be still okay. Um, oh my gosh, if you could do the um, if you could do the fantasy landscape that size, you could do this one because there's um. Well, hopefully this will be easier. So let's get cracking. Um, and of course, I've got the reference up. Um, 
Uh, let me see. I just want to make sure that. Okay. Um, okay. The color that I would like to use. There'd be a combination, I think, here. Uh, this is the Thalo. Uh, sorry, this is the Payne's Grey. Um, extra dark. I, um, and I'll see how I go. I would like to mix in um, the Thalo. If you've got Ultramarine, I would use Ultramarine as well. If you've got, if you don't have um, this lot, um, and probably um, um, I would like to use, and we'll probably use. Um, I can see the Horizon and using the uh, raw umber and um, uh, the tint. So let's let's get cracking. Um, okay, what I'll do here for the time being is maybe just put that down and let's go. Okay, Kathy, you're doing yours A3. Yes, this is A3. Um, um, now usually, you know, um, I would say use any shade, um, you can use any shade pastel mat because we're going to cover everything. Um, Um, I thought this would be, I thought, um, I thought this would be an, a nice little, um, uh, background for our, for our gentleman here. Um, what do you think about that? Um, you know, a moon that's probably the size of God knows what, um, <laughs> but you know how it is. We always do things with, um, you know, with a little twist. Always with a twist. <laughs> and it's blotchy. And I mean, yeah, see, normally I like to use the brushes, but um, but look, maybe I'm a bit hard with my soft tool with my soft sponges because I end they end up fraying on the surface. Um, you can use a brush if you like. Um, um, but um just want to get as much as I can down very quickly because it'd be nice to start on the moon and I don't want us to spend a lot of time on on each uh, I mean it all depends on the project of course um, you know do one easy one one not so easy and I think we need to do a few easy ones uh, he looks like a time traveler doesn't he ever he's just interesting I just think he's interesting I think we're gonna have a lot of fun uh, with him um, he's got lots of lovely wrinkles that we can, um, and lots of values and stuff like that. And, um, I like his look, um, definitely. Um, let's put that one away. I think I'd like to use, um, we'll be using the phthalo blue a little bit. Um. More on the greeny side, actually, but um, but definitely, if you've got ultramarine, I'd be using that. Um, let's go back to the Payne's Grey. Okay, I thought he was Gandalf uh, from Lord of the Rings. No, he's not. Um, no, but he could, couldn't he? He does have that look about him. Um, um, oh, well, we're getting this down in a hurry, aren't we? Which is pretty good. Okay. 
Uh, just a question, do you, do you have soft tools, uh, soft tool sponges? If you don't have a sponge like this, um, you know, as I said, use a brush or um, maybe these applicator sponges. Um, let's just get this down and then I'll, we're going to use brush on top anyway. So, I'm going to vacuum this there's so much going on here so just one moment I'm just going to put the sound off just for a sec Um, okay, I've got several sponges and tools. Okay, cool. Um, I love the sponges for backgrounds. Yes, yeah, I think it's a good idea. Uh, yep, never use them. Okay, Carol, now's the time to bring them out. Bring them out. Um, okay, so I'm just going to leave that there for the moment. Um, uh, what I'm going to do is um use a brush to uh, to paint in the horizon now it's really interesting the color that's in that um well the color that i see with my screen because i think with everyone's screens things are different on their computers or their you know or your laptops or your you know ipads and or your tablets uh, but the color that i'm seeing with my screen on my screen is the raw umber so I might have a go and just keep and and just build up with that and um, we're going to slowly go into where the moon area is now the reason why I have um, uh, masked this is because I really would like that clean edge like you see in the um, in the reference I think that's really cool um, but yeah but let's just work on this area here so I'm going to start to use a brush um, and because we've masked, um, I'm, I don't mind to go, you know, this is the, the best part of it. Now, Cherry, are you going to be using pastel pencils or are you going to be, um, how are you going to, are you going to use mostly pan pastels or, or pastel pencils? Because I know yours is a, a small small bit of paper but I think you could still use the the pans um, yeah um, and I've just got to put a little disclaimer or let people know that um, again brushes the bristle brushes um, the pans aren't made for the bristle brushes uh, and I know that we've talked about it us here that are on the chat but uh, for people that are just picking this up or have just are just discovering this um, you know these aren't the brushes aren't made for the pans because it does make it more powdery the idea of the pans is to make it less powdery and we make it more powdery by doing it with the bristles but as you can see the results we get are just amazing so why wouldn't you but I just wanted to let people know that that's that's what happens um, okay you're going to use pans as much as possible cool all right okay all right um, okay Um, uh, a bit of the Payne's Grey, I think, again. Now, this is really interesting. Now, when I bought... Now, I know that we've gone through this, right? <clears throat> Look at this. 
do they not look almost the same to you? Like to me, I can't tell the difference. All right? But when you look behind, this one is Payne's Grey Extra Dark. Unless they've done something. And then Payne's Grey Shade. But I'm having a look at the... Um, And I'm having a look at the, um, uh, sorry, the uh, the pigment, and I can see that it's the same pigment. But I'm just wondering, has this got more black in it than what that has? It's just interesting that yeah, it's the same all the way. Payne's grey, Payne's grey, extra dark, and shade, right? So. Does it not strike you as weird? Is that like they're almost the same? Yeah, that's really weird. Um, okay, have you got the lighthouse and the moon masked off separately? Yes, I do. I do. Um, um, if you can see, I've actually cut the lighthouse. I've went ahead and cut... Um, um, it, it is separate so I'm going to once I'm happy with how the sky is going to look um, I'm going to rip off the moon and I've already cut cut it so yes um, most definitely I think it'll be um, a lot easier to do the lighthouse once we've done the moon um, most definite okay all right so Okay, brush just very lightly over that mixture, the raw umber mixture. I can see that it's sort of a bit transparent. Or it's just, you know, I can just see the blue through the raw umber um, shade. Um, only very slightly darker um, on my screen okay mm. uh, did they stuff up the labels who knows I don't know but it bloody well looks the same to me it really does it's just you know it's just if it's slightly it's if it's a slightly darker well it's bloody slightly because when you compare when you compare the other um, you know the other values of say something like this the red iron oxide do you know what I mean like there's a difference you can see yeah I, I yeah I just um mind you I've had this for a very long time so these would be I don't know I've had these for a really long time so maybe it's just the big I don't know. I've had these for years, so I couldn't say. I don't know. Um, okay. Uh, okay, the picture looks dark, or is it my screen? Okay. Uh, is it dark? Is it really dark? Maybe I can lighten it. Um, okay, if it looks dark, let me see if I can lighten it up. Um, just hang on a sec. See what I can do.
Let's see what I can do. Would that be better? That might be a bit too bright, but anyway. Uh, hopefully that might be a little bit better for you. Okay. All right, that might a little bit be a bit brighter. Yeah. Okay, what I'm doing is a very um, Uh, just a, a small gradient, not much. Um, okay, all right. I've lightened it up a little bit more, so hopefully that will um that should help you better. Okay, cool, 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 cool. All right. I just want to smooth that out. Okay. All right. Let's put some clouds in. Uh, clouds. Um, we'll make certain areas darker here. Hang on a sec. Um, using the um, not the angular brush but the, um, the smudge one the smudge blend one um, I want to add uh, more pans or a darker shade here in the in the in the clouds that are in the um, in the background it needs quite a bit of pastel I can see Uh, the motion that I'm using, uh, semicircular motion. Um, and it's blending as well. Now, because I've got clouds that are going all the way through, I'm happy with this part. I'm happy with this part of the moon, and I'm happy with the amount of uh, pastel that I have put down. Um, might need some more, maybe. I don't think so. Um, I'm actually quite happy with what I've done here so far. So I'm. Uh, I am going to lift the moon because there are clouds here and I'd like it to be nice and even all the way through. So, but before I do that, I've just noticed where I've missed. I always miss something, don't I? It's there.
Mm. Now this is a new blade by the way. Um, I've only used it on, let me see, it must be, oh seriously, did I miss that too? I missed that too, I can't believe I missed that. I'm actually going to, there's that little, I don't know what that is on top, that little knob on the top, but I'm actually going to go over it. later so that's fine oh come on it's a new blade why is it doing that to me really wow Goodness me, why is it giving me this much trouble? Wow. What's going on? Why are you doing that? I was using this just before the stream. Top of the lighthouse, yeah. Um, I was thinking the whole moon was masked over. It's never done that before to me. It's never done that before. I don't know why it's doing it now. I normally don't have this problem. better that's better what's going on there who knows okay all right let's just put this away all right yeah it's that bit there I'm not going to fuss with that too much. Oh, look, and that's come off there. Oh. There we go. All right. I'm going to continue with the, um, with the sky that sort of blends in with the moon. So, um, and I'm actually going to use the brush this time because there are so many little bits and pieces um, some areas are darker some areas are lighter so I will uh, I will continue with that using Payne's grey maybe I should use the soft tool sponge just to get things moving very quickly
Payne's Grey. for the time being I'm going to um, pick up all the particles from that from this soft tool sponge so hang on a sec I'll just turn off the sound just for two seconds All right, going in with the brush. And just going to keep on adding layers now. Now, the moon is a, a lighter a, a lighter shade. Um so be aware of that because I don't I want it to look separate to the sky so just be aware of that I'm going to be very careful when I go around here so um, I just need to add layers because I need to get quite a bit of pastel on this moon so it might take longer than what I thought so just have to be patient and just keep on working it. Oh well, there are no greens here, <laughs> but a lot of blues. <laughs> okay. And I can see my lines through, so I know, because there are certain parts of this moon where I want it to be lighter and darker. So um, I'm keeping all of that in mind while I'm working. Very blotchy, it will be. You just got to keep on working it. Keep on adding. Oh, by the way, the tool that I'm using here is the large shadow. These are this is what we've been using in previous um, uh, paintings. Yeah, so when I was looking for references, I was looking for an interesting fellow, an interesting looking fellow. And um, I'd um, uh, seen this uh, fellow on, on Pixabay um, and he's been used, this particular reference, he's been used by others who have uh, morphed him into other, um, um, into uh, um other reference images so um, he must be um, well why wouldn't you I mean look at that nose the eye the way that the lid falls over his eye um, uh, the wrinkles and that beard well because I don't think we've tackled a beard um, so this will be a beauty um, and I know it looks difficult, 
but I tell you now we it will not be difficult to do this beard it just means that we just have to be a little bit patient that's all So as you can see, the brush is a slower. <laughs> it's slower, but. So don't don't panic when you see it like that's what I'm trying to say. Don't panic when you see it like this. Let me just zoom in so you can actually see how blotchy it really is. Yeah. It really is blotchy but you just got to keep on working it and I want to make sure that I put enough of this pastel down because I'm going to be putting different values and before I continue too much with um, this cloud situation because it needs to continue on here so um, Okay, yes, I've noticed a lot of photos are altered um, numerous times by photographers on Pixabay and Unsplash. Yes, yep. See, my dilemma is, is that I always want to see if I can find something interesting that is royalty free that you don't have to pay so in case you want to sell. Um, you want to sell your piece. Um, so this is why I'm mostly getting, um, you know, for our tutorials, I'm mostly getting these from Pixabay or Unsplash or what's another one? Maybe I should go paint my photo. Maybe I should have a look at that as well. I haven't, I haven't um, looked at that in ages, so I might just do that. Um, Plus, I hope everyone's keeping well too, you know. Here in Australia, we're having it a little bit difficult now with COVID. Uh, wrinkles would uh, will be interesting to see. Yes, yeah. It's really interesting this being a different color you can actually see how blotchy or you like I can still see through the um, the, the pastel mat so I can see past my line art past my um, right into the the color or the shade of um, uh, the shade of the, the pastel mat the sheet 
Uh, not sure. Okay, yeah, I think uh, we've given up on COVID here. Mm -hmm. uh, not sure if you're aware, but Lorna Weber, an administrator on PMP, passed away a couple of weeks ago. Very sad. Oh, she can't have been old. Oh, it's you know what? It's been a while since I've been on on um, uh, you know, paint my photo. Um. I've gotten some really good references from there. Um, I just haven't, uh, a while back, I just haven't looked in there lately. Uh, better go and have a look. to get it even all round. That's why I keep on moving around. Um. See, this part of the moon, I would probably use um, a white whereas here it's the um, for the clouds not white but um, uh, raw umber tint so let me just vacuum around here I'm making a very big mess so hang on a sec again sound Okay. Uh, PMP uh, was my starting point for pastels. Um, I won a few challenges last year in the pastel group. Oh, wow, that's fantastic. Only entered one painting this year, though. Uh, so thought um, I'd had learnt a lot from their challenges. Oh, yes, of course. Whatever you can learn. Oh, my gosh. And then you end up discovering something and then you end up developing um, a way or a technique in the way you, you work. As soon as you sort of... Um, get the feel of these pans you'll end up finding your way which I think you guys are well on your way to doing that um, and um, uh, for Carol because um, I know that you asked me a while back about using pans and then colored pencil on top um, for tomorrow's project I'm just going to do a very small um, a very small um, uh, uh, portrait and um, where you where I'm going to layer uh, pans and then pastel pencils on top so this one is for you so I thought I'd just let you know but it's only going to be a small little thing but um, yeah so at least you can see how that was done as well so that's my um, I really love doing those portraits, don't I? <laughs> okay, is that a website on Facebook? Uh, no, um, it is a... Um, let me see if I can put it in the chat. Would you like me to put the link in the chat? Maybe see it. Let me see if I can find it. Um, hang on. Um, give me a minute. Uh, um, hang on a sec, I'll find it. Hang on a sec. And I'll put it in the link. I don't think... Um, oh, come on. Paint my photo. Um, 
paint my photo. I think that's the one. Um, oh, there it is. There. I'll just put it. I'll just put the link in the. Um, oh yeah, there it is. It's the login, but let's so home. Uh, yes. Uh, there you go. Um, uh, so if you click on that link, um, okay, Cherry, that if you go into that um, link, you'll see that there's it's people uploading their photographs and the um, and it's royalty free. The only thing that uh, you have to do once you've um, uh, painted something, uh, you've got to acknowledge the artist. You've got to reference the artist. Yeah. Yeah, they have various art groups. Yep. Um, yeah, run challenges and all photos are free. Yes, yes, yes. Um, wonderful. Um, oh, thank you, Carol. Um, 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 uh, you love that portrait from Saturday. Yes, um, interesting. Um, well, you know, well, we, well, I got to use, um, I did get to use the neutral greys, the, the grey scale. So, um, uh, personally, I think that um, when you're doing uh, um, when you're doing grayscale or black and white or monochrome, um, you um, it's ve um, you can uh, you get to see the mistakes more if there are mistakes. Um, I'm not sure how to say. I want to say a better word than that, but um, you will get to see more mistakes in say a black and white photo. Um, than you would say if it was color. You could probably get away with a lot more um, if you were using color, but not when you're using grayscale or monochrome. Um, um, but I'm going to do something. I'm going to do another project like that or monochrome and color. Um, uh, really fell in love with that. So yes, thank you for that. That's um, thank you for that. Um, And I just wanted to make sure that I had finished it. So I finished it on the day. So after the stream, I just kept on going, kept on going. And it wasn't a very big piece. So it was. Um... Yes, it was interesting. Um, where is it? Shall we have another look at it here? I'll show you what I mean. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Um, you could pr see you could get away with color if it wasn't quite right but you couldn't get away with it um, there's just something that I've got to fix and that's around this area here because I've looked away I've gone away from it I'm going oh geez that needs adjusting but yeah but um, uh, this is all the neutral gray group of colors so yeah interesting piece um, and I, uh, I, liked, I liked it a lot I like doing it a lot um, not sure why. I'm not sure. I'm not sure why. Um, or maybe it's something that I don't do that often. I don't know. That could have been it. Um, yeah, I don't um, do grayscale much, do I? Um, But uh, maybe I should.
still need to put quite a bit of pastel down so because it's not going to move when I when I start putting in the clouds it's not going to move so you've got to make sure that you've got enough pastel down and there's not enough it's almost like colored pencil you've got to layer it and layer it and layer it until um, before you start using um, you know mineral spirits I suppose okay okay I have been asked to do a black and white portrait for a friend well if you've got the the neutral uh, those um, the neutral pans um, perfect and black and white of course you know oh why don't you do like a add a little bit of color into into it I oh, know maybe the person might not um, appreciate it but um yeah okay um the reference photo is terrible but is a favorite so we'll give it a go yeah you know what Kathy I tell you what and that's anyone who's doing anything make sure that the, the reference is a good reference uh, otherwise you are going to um, not enjoy the process it is going to you are going to be getting so frustrated um, um, it's her father who has passed away see so, yeah and that's the thing isn't it Is it possible to ask for a, another reference, do you think? I don't know. Do they have a, does that person have a Facebook? Maybe you can stalk them and find a, a, a really good photo. Okay, I'm going to make a little mixture with the white and the Payne's Grey uh, because um, I want to use lighter values. So here we go. Mm -hmm. I don't think I've got the Payne's Grey tint. Can you believe it? I don't have that one. So I'll just make it. I asked for as many photos as possible but she wants this one as is her favorite okay there is a hand to the face oh great holding a cigarette fantastic uh, could it get any more complicated exactly right oh, I don't envy you there Kathy but anyway I would love to see your process please uh, if it's possible to share just even on patreon if that would be wonderful we could see how you go um, and Cherry says, I am busy this week 
out visiting artists in our county for the open week. Ooh, so we'll be watching tomorrow's live stream in the evening. No problem. Um, okay, we all envy you, Cherry. Yes, exactly. How nice. Okay, the colour that I'm mixing a li little bit is the uh, Thalo Blue Tint. I want... I want it just a little bit warmer than what I've got here. That's better. Uh, this brush is really good for when you want to mix, I've got to admit, um, because it picks up it picks up quite a bit of the um, pigment. In fact, quite too much. Okay, I'm going to use the other side of the angular brush. Um, see how there's, see the difference in, um, uh, well, the length and, um, I mean, obviously this side, the bristles are a bit more, you know, uh, firmer and these are a little bit more softer, but I want the short one. Uh, to make the, um, you know, to make all of these other little shapes that I've got here. Um, okay, uh, she isn't too fast. Um, said the best I can do will suffice. Uh, she wants it to be um, soft with no hard edges, so that makes it easier. Okay, all right. Well, good luck. I would love to see that journey definitely there we go nice and soft and I'm just going to build with that color so what I did was I mixed uh, Payne's gray extra dark I mixed um, the white and I mixed a phthalo blue tint they're the three colors that I mixed to make this mixture here These brushes are just fantastic to work with. Beautiful blending. Of course it takes longer, but the results are so much better. Um, I love the way it blends. They're beautiful. And you can't see it so much, um, but... Um, Something that we're just going to keep on working, I think. And there's lots of little crevices. So I've actually got a few little circles here. Uh, you can't see it, but I can. Um, so we'll make sure that we get those in there because, you know, Try to make it look like a moon if we can. Doesn't have to be exact, exact, but um, near enough is good. using the angular just to make sure that I get that nice edge as clean as I can get it.
just um, just making sure that um, make sure that that edge is clean yeah, if I can Added just a little bit of white here because it's starting to get lighter here. It's almost um, monochrome, isn't it? Just working it. Um, and the best way to work it again is those this section. Because sometimes and I've noticed when I've done it too, is that if I've gone this way and that way, especially in this circular um, section, and when you're doing clouds as well, um, yeah, you, you, you don't want it um, in this situation, straight lines, diagonals, whichever way. So the circuit, you're better off working in a circular motion when you're using, um, when you're doing this part of the moon, for example, but you you I, I I find that I end up doing that a lot with uh, most of my paintings when I'm painting large areas. So doing that action um, might be slow, but it's so much more even once you've got all the pastel down. Yeah. I don't know, have you found that when you're using the brushes, for example? Um, are you doing that action or is it sort of straight? This way, this way, this way. <laughs> I suppose if you, you know, it all depends on the subject, of course, doesn't it? Okay. I'm working it. Okay, I need to make some more mixture. Payne's grey, extra dark. Better just wipe that down. A bit of white. A bit of the thalo tint. There we go. Why is it not working? It's the wrong one. I'm 
that's how you can tell that you don't have enough pastel down is that it won't budge um, I read a, a lot of when people are talking about pastel mat and um, I mean there's a lot of people that love it but then there's a lot of people that don't understand it um, and they go oh look the pastel doesn't move and I go and I'm thinking to myself yes because you haven't got enough pastel down um, not necessarily even like with pastels uh, sorry with pans but it could be other pastels um, yeah Um, I think it seems to cover better uh, with circular motion, yes. And uh, the pressure that I'm using too um, also makes a difference. Um, this is um, firm, but not so hard and not too light, but it's just a, a, nice, um, a nice firm pressure. Firm to medium pressure, medium, medium, medium. Changing my brush to the large shadow one. Okay. Okay. Um, I'm a grandmum again today. My daughter had another girl. Oh, beautiful name Zali. Oh, that's gorgeous. Congratulations, Kathy. Uh, seven pound five uh, seven pound five ounces so relieved uh, all went well as she had a difficult pregnancy oh congratulations that's wonderful oh, I love so how many grandchildren is it now Kathy you would have a few now or is it is it oh, hang, I've only seen one other one isn't it would this be your second one Okay, um, just wanted to mention, um, okay, number three. Oh, okay, so are they all girls? Okay. Um, now, just to let you know, if you're going to be asking me, how do you know where to put which colour? Um, if you have a look at the reference, right, um, there are, and of course, I've drawn where there are certain spots which are uh, contrasting so um, like for example this area here is much darker this area here is lighter there is a dark patch just there all right so I'll just keep that there but so what I'm trying to say is that um, keep an eye on your reference and um, just put the darks where where you see them um, and particularly if we're just using um, uh, this, these, um, these colours just for the time being, it should make it easier and that you shouldn't have to um, struggle with well, which one should I use. It, it's all a matter of going darker or lighter. Um, okay, my other daughter has a boy, Benji. Oh, you're a very busy grandmother too. <laughs> Although I can't see my grandchildren because of COVID. Okay, but we won't talk about that. Whole world's talking about it. I'm sick and tired of talking about it. <laughs> um, 
So I'm applying the darker portion and just building. So that area here is dark. I know that I'm not, I don't have enough pastel down, so I just have to keep on working it. Okay. This is very messy, as you can see. Okay. Keep on adding. Still very blotchy. Mm. I just want to mark the areas that are light, if you know what I mean. Um, Keep on working it. I think plus two, the um, because I've used a um, a different color, like a tan color, uh, pastel mat. Um, rather than say maybe a blue, if I've used a blue. Um, I would have used maybe a blue dark blue then you wouldn't have been able to notice too much and I would have had the paper working um, working for me um, but that's all right um, just have to add a bit more pastel down um, and she said this would be an easy one. <laughs> it will be, I promise, I promise. <laughs> oh my gosh. After what you ladies have tackled, you ladies have tackled some of the hardest things um, 
this will be easy compared to that one or you just got to do patience another one that needs patience perhaps but not as um i think um our our um our old bloke will be um our challenge i think um the challenge might be um interesting i think it's the beard that might be the challenge so you know Uh, where was I now? I picked up. I have to put enough pastel down before I can start putting in the cloud, so just have to just have to work it smoothing it out Just use just a touch of black because I want more contrast but I'm just a touch okay so I'm mixing putting in this blue and it might be a bit too dark now but anyway Just thinking of the lighter bits here. Okay, here we go. Messy. All right. Could be messier, but it's not, thank goodness. Okay, I don't want to go white quickly, too quickly. So I'm mixing it in with the other blue that's in there, that blue mixture that I've made on the outside. Okay, I've seen some art that uses different colors to get values in paintings. Looks so good. Don't know what it's called, but it's really abstract. Okay, I've seen some art that uses different colors to get values. Um, hmm, that's interesting. What is that? It's that abstract art. Abstract. Okay, I've seen some art that uses different colors to get values in paintings. Looks so good. I don't know what it's called, but not really abstract. Hmm. Is it surreal? Is it surreal? 
cherry? Do you th is it? Um, it's not clear white as you can see I'm mixing it in with that but it's the lighter value that I'm getting which I'm doing okay it's quite realistic but with lots of color oh okay um, I think I know what you mean I've actually seen some um, portraits that way where they use different colors um, they've used different colors but uh, values yeah I, I think I know what you mean yeah I look you know what it's interesting what people what artist artists can do uh, I'm amazed like I'm always I, I, I don't think I'm, I'm always gobsmacked when I see some stuff and I'm thinking to myself oh my gosh how did they think of that do you know what I mean like this is how I this is where my mind goes I wish I'd thought of that sometimes when I see things As you can see, we've got quite a bit of pastel that needs to go down. So, uh, Cherry, do you mean they turn something plain into something colourful? Like Les Darlow, his skies are amazing. Oh, aren't they gorgeous? Oh, yeah. I've been following Les for such a long time um, and this is before I was following before he discovered pans to be honest because um, yeah but he's just got some oh the landscapes that he does they're just gorgeous the skies are beautiful yeah Uh, similar to the famous painting of a cow that is multicolored. Mm. Yeah, I, I knew what you were talking about, the, the style. Yeah. Oh, it's amazing, isn't it? Oh, you all are capable of doing things like that. Definite. And I think it's all about playing too. Like, you've got to play. Here we go. This is when uh, because we've got quite some pastel down. Now I'm laying layering even more with the angular brush, and uh, the the there are certain areas of the moon which I really want to stand out. So that's why I'm applying darker layers. So it's pretty much the white and the uh, Payne's Grey Extra Dark at the moment. That's getting the use. And if you don't have Payne's Grey, uh, the, um, the Ultramarine is just as good to use, that group of uh, painting, uh, sorry, that, those group of colors. And I'm blending, as you can see, blending through with the um, with the other side. But we're just going to keep on working on this, I think, for a little while. 
until we get it right. But putting the glassine around here certainly helps with the sky and of course with our man on here on the side, um, definite. Uh, it, it's all about making sure that you put enough pastel down. So I'm going to put heaps of layers. Um, yeah. See how it doesn't move? That's how you know that you don't have enough pastel down. See how it's not moving? Or it's not, yeah. And once you put more pastel, that's when it starts to move and blends easier. We are so lucky that pastel mat allows us to put lots of layers down. And you can smooth it out with a bigger brush if you want. Keep on working. Okay, keep on going. We are going to keep at it. Alright, let me see. Let's have a look what we've done so far. Let's just pull this back. Let me just vacuum here just for a sec. Sorry about that sound, I forgot about that. Um, yeah, so 
you know, um, you know, that's not bad. We've got quite a bit down, uh, but still got quite a bit to go. We're just going to keep on working it and um, really looking forward to um, continuing with this. So uh, definitely next week we'll just keep on going with this. And tomorrow I'm going, I'm just going to do like a little piece um, uh, for Carol, who's asked, um, again, who's asked for pans and colored pencil on top. So it'll be a little piece. See how I go with that. And um, uh, every, every artist is different in the way that they work. So uh, let's see how we do it. Uh, but anyway, look, thank you so much uh, for, you know, for, for us keeping each other company. It's wonderful. And um, I'll see you all next, well, I'll see you tomorrow. But um, uh, bye for now. Bye for now, everyone.